Hey everybody, it's Max McAllister from Traction Dynamics here with part two of our BT Moto Tune ECU reflash for the 2018 plus Honda Goldwing. And uh, BT Moto was very accommodating and they have very quickly returned me a file this morning in just a half an hour. So that may not happen for you because I'm super cool. But I'm going to, I got an email notification that says <coughs> they, they're done. And so I'm going to plug in my tuner and I'm going to log in to the BT Moto site and <coughs> here's tuned files. Now yours is only going to have one, but mine, um, I can, I'm going to be doing a bunch of these. So I'll, uh, but I see today's date. I've got a message here. Thank you for your business. Enjoy. Um, you can just leave those, sir. Um, I'm going to click download on this file and it says changes made. Let's see what happens. <coughs> There's the downloaded file. I believe I'm done there. So I'm going to minimize this. I'm going to open the my genius software, same software. And um, it's going to talk to my, my handheld. <coughs> and remember, uh, hand, up, download and upload isn't going to mean what is intuitive, at least not to me. So we're going to, because this is, <laughs> here you can upload a modified tool to your My Genius tool. <coughs> this is, you know, confusing. This is my genius tool. So anyway, read the little description on the side. Upload and download is not intuitive. <laughs> All right. We're going to write the modified file to the genius tool so you can upload it to your vehicle. It says car, but obviously this company does all kinds of things, cars and motorcycles. We're going to select a file. It's Here's the file from today. It's 8.7. I'm going to select that file. It's verifying the file. <clears throat> it's there, but it does leave another box in case you were doing more than one motorcycle at once. You're not going to be doing that. So here's next. Do you want to upload this file to the My Genius tool? Yes. Why the hell else would I be doing this? Confirm. Procedure completed successfully. <coughs> We're done. Old Judd's a millionaire. I'm going to let it just finish what it was doing here, and then I'm going to close this. All right. I'm going to close that. And I've looked at ejecting this thing, and there's never anything to eject, so it should be no problem. I'm just going to disconnect it. Our new map is in our handheld, so we're going to go back to the motorcycle. <coughs> <clears throat> Turn this fan off. Assembly is the re re reverse of dis disassembly. <clears throat> so we're going to put this on a positive battery cable. We're going to plug into our data port. Listen for the click. <clears throat> the unit's going to power up. Now, I'm not going to get you all the way to the end of this because this upload procedure is about is 15 to 20 minutes. It takes some time. So <clears throat> a couple of things. You're going to want to have a battery tender on the bike or some form of battery charger. And then I recommend to you that you pull the headlight fuse out because that's just a big battery draw. Your little tool is on your fuse lid. It's this third fuse up from the bottom, if you want to see that. Blue 15 amp fuse is the one. 
for light main. Grab that little fuse and pull that out. <coughs> That'll just, now the bike will work. The headlight won't come on drawing a bunch of juice. <coughs> We're units powered up. Come on back and watch. We're going to go to work again. It's already on it. You just hit the arrow. Protocol, writing. We're going to write the new file to the bike. That's the file. We only have one. <clears throat> Please connect to a stabilized battery. We've done that. Switch the dashboard on. Here you come around the other side of me. <clears throat> Communicating. I'm going to get you to the point. And I'm going to try and pause the video and see if we have any luck while it does the whole thing. Switch the onboard dash off. Now, from this point forward, I want you here, look over my hand. When you turn the bike off, hold this knob until the bike turns off, right? All the way. We're going to do that the whole time we're uploading. Please connect your vehicle to a stabilized battery. Okay. Switch the dash on. <coughs> so you're trained to just flick that knob off. That, that will can cause this to malfunction. So it's not telling you here, they've got it written in the written instructions, but I'm just warning you in advance, you need to be super conscious of what you're doing here. Turn that knob and hold it until the motorcycle turns off. ECU programming. Okay, so it's starting now. Um, and this is a little progress bar, but this is gonna move across real slowly because this is you know 15 or 20 minutes while it rewrites the bike. And again, that's why you wanna have it connected to a battery charger, have a good battery, and pull that headlight fuse, I think is good advice. There's, your, there's our first bar. So what I'm, we're gonna do now is we're gonna hit the pause button on this video. I'm gonna leave my phone um, just chilling, and then we'll, cause I have no production studio and no editing. So, and then we will come back and finish up this process and then get out and hit the road for a ride. So you know where the pause button is, right Sean?